Hey, welcome back. I say I'm going to share with you all the manis that I wore in August. So the first one I started off with was Fancy Gloss Fairy Wings, which is this white creline. It's got these beautiful kind of like pinky shifting orange flakes, which do not want to show up on camera. I don't see those. And then I topped it with Color Club's Million Dollar Listing which is beautiful. I love all of these Color Club um, like iridescent sparkly toppers that I got over the summer. I just love them all. Now, I'll be honest, this was not the best Manny. Um, fancy gloss, so if you know, she's got amazing flaky toppers. Every single one I have, I love. Um, I think only one of them I had to thin out because it was a little too opaque for my liking. The rest of them all have beautiful, perfect formulas. And so I decided to get a bunch of her, by a bunch, I mean, I think maybe like five, of her um, flaky crellies. This one has a very strange formula. It's thick, but at the same time, it's kind of sheer. So I had to do three coats, and even after three coats, you could still see bald spots in my pictures, which is why I used a topper to kind of help mask the formula. Um, wasn't the best, uh, I think, have a couple other ones that are the same. Some of them have weird thick formulas, but still oddly um, not opaque at the same time. And this is one of them, which is a shame because this is absolutely beautiful. I think next time I wear this, I might have to wear white undies, but then I'm gonna have the same problem because whites are never opaque and you need two or three coats of whites. Um, I've asked you guys before, um, but let me know down below what your favorite possibly one coater whites are, or at least a good formula that I could get away with one, maybe two coats tops. Um, anyways, not my favorite, really, really pretty in theory, but just the execution was not my favorite. Okay, and the next Manny I loved. This one was a twin with Barb um, for Fugly Pugly Friday. We wore OPI's Ochre the Moon as undies. Look at <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. I love this. Um, I know Barb is not into these types of colors. That's why we wore it for Fugly Pugly Friday. I think she said she ended up really liking it, but I'm sure she didn't love it as much as I did. And then we topped it with Princess Jasmine by my brand, Never Naked by Jackie. And this together was so pretty. I loved it. This is one of my favorite toppers and it's one of my most popular toppers that I've ever made. It's just so good. I love it. It looks good over everything. And this together was really nice. I loved it. Okay, then I wore one of my dupe creations for duping my polish pickup wish list for I guess it would have been for September if I was wearing it in August. You know, right? It would have been August, but you would have received the polishes in September. Um, so for undies, I wore Zoya's Sailor. Beautiful, I love Sailor, it's so pretty. It's a really pretty navy blue. <clears throat> and then for my topper, I used Cuticula's Broken Fairy Tales. So pretty. Now I've tried wearing this, I put it on my winter rack for like the last fall winter rack for, ever since it came out basically, I think it came out at least two years ago by now. Um, actually, I think I was kept putting this on my summer rack too, and I couldn't figure out how to wear it. Um, it just, it really shines over dark colors. And so I finally found a, a reason to wear it, and it was really beautiful. Loved this Manny. It was so gorgeous. This really shines over dark colors. And this was just really, really lovely. Okay, then I did a twin Manny with Lisa. We wore different dimensions, greed beautiful like neon slime green with those um, little gold flakies so pretty and then i wanted to have kind of like a um, speckled effect so i wore drk nails extraordinary i've worn this several times at this point it's a red to black shifting multi-chrome flaky topper and this together was really pretty i liked this a lot this is very dainty and sparse it's um I like the perfect formula, formula, in my opinion, for the tiny speckled look. Okay, then I did a twin with Amy Sue, and this was so, so gorgeous. I did not want to take this off my nails. 
Um, for undies, I use Salon Perfix Copa Cabana Girl. Look at that, so pretty. And then we each wore Polish Grapefruit Fizz, which is from For the Love of Polish Box 7 2022. And I got that box specifically for this polish. Look at this polish, you guys. Look at that. This is just so amazing. This is a sheer jelly formula. So I could have built this up in three coats on its own, but I really wanted to put undies with it. So like I said, I put these undies and I thought these together were so good. So absolutely beautiful. And these glowing flakes were just amazing. Absolutely love this Manny. One of my favorites of the year. Okay, then I did a combo. I wore Essie's Run Wildflower. Got this one last year and never got around to wearing it. This is a really pretty, um, it's like, I don't know, it's not, a, it's not an orchid, but it's kind of leaning maybe into the orchid family, but not quite. There's not enough pink in it to be orchid, but it's not really, I don't know, it's not really violet either, and it's not like lavender, so I don't know. But just a really soft, pretty purple. And then I topped it with Griffin from my Mythical Toppers collection. And this together was pretty. I liked this. It was very soft and girly with just a little hint of sparkle. And I like that. Okay, then I wore polish that I was on the fence about buying for a couple years, pretty much when, since this um, polish came out. I think it's been like maybe three or four years by now. This is Different Dimensions Rocket Man. And the reason I never got this is because some swatches, it looked very... Um, what is the word, um, periwinkle. And then other swatches, it looked very much like baby blue. And I don't like baby blues. And so I was on the fence on which one was more color, color accurate and that was gonna pull on my nails. And then my friend Laura even told me, I believe she said on her, it pulls more of a baby blue. So I had decided not to get it. And then this past year, or it might've been this, I think it was this year, it was like earlier this year, um, the company Different Dimensions had not a closing sale, but she's like, I guess she's downsizing her company and so she's not gonna be holding on to collections, polishes forever like she has in the past. And so she had a big sale and then I was afraid that this would be gone forever and I would just forever be thinking about, you know, oh, that I should have gotten it. So I decided to just get it. It ended up being, I think like five or six dollars um, with her sale. And I really, really love it. I'm so glad I got it. It is a little on the baby blue side, but it pulls just purple enough on my nails that I really loved it. Like even in the bottle here, it does look like it's very baby blue. But I think those flakies kind of help like brighten it up a little bit so it's not so baby blue on me and I really, really loved it. Beautiful, beautiful formula. And I'm so glad that I finally got this. Okay, then I decided to wear um, Restore by Polish Better Together. This was from PPU October 2022. This is a polish that Krista um, from Restored by Polish, um, she made this with Jacqueline on camera last year. Jacqueline let her make a polish for um, her company, Restored by Polish, and then, um, or Restored Naturally. Restored by Polish and then Restored Naturally is, you know, her the other side of the business where she does like skincare. Anyway, so Jacqueline made this on camera last year and then it was for PPU and it was beautiful. I got it and then I just finally got around to wearing it this summer. I wanted to wear it because it's um, on the neon side and I wanted to wear it before it fades for good because, um, you know, neons, they fade. And this is just so, so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. Had just enough... I mean, it's definitely pink, but it has just enough, like a tiny tinge of coral in it. And then these really pretty, kind of like shifting flakes. Just really pretty. I like this one. It had a really amazing formula, two coats. I'm pretty sure I wore it in two coats. Perfect formula. All right, then I wore another fancy gloss, and this one is Electric Grape. Now this is one that had a good formula compared to the Fairy, fairy Wings. This one had a really nice formula. However, I got this last year, and this has faded significantly since last year. Um, it's called Electric Grape, and so when I first got it, it was like a bright electric purple with these gorgeous flakies. And then this year when I wore it, um, I 
thought, like I was thinking, it's really not that vibrant. And so I pulled up my original swatch pictures and this has faded significantly. So although it still has a beautiful formula and it is very pretty, it's really not neon by any means. So I'm going to um, show you both pictures. The top one is going to be what it is now and then the bottom one is gonna be what it used to be. So next time I wear this, because it is still beautiful, those flakes are glowing, they're just gorgeous. Next time I wear this, I'll probably wear it like in the fall and I will wear it over dark undies, I imagine, like dark purple undies. Really, really beautiful. But you know, purples fade in general and then neons, they, you know, they fade. So it's my own fault for having too many polishes and you know, not wearing them, especially neons before they fade. I don't own a ton of neons, simply because they fade. Okay, and then the final Manny of the month I wore, it was a um, copycat combo with Lisa. So I wore, I was, you know, mimicking one of her Manny's. I chose OPI's I Am What I Am with this. That's the undies, one of my favorite OPI's. I love, love, love this. It doesn't look like much in the bottle, but on the nails, it's just so beautiful. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not periwinkle, it's just like a soft, maybe like a faded periwinkle. I don't know, it's just, it's so, so pretty. Gorgeous, love, love, love this. I've had this for years and it still looks the same. And then for my topper, I use KB Shimmer's Pros and Bronze, which is a thinned version. Um, KB Shimmer from years and years and years ago. They were one of the first brands really that I know of that had the flaky toppers. And I had them all, I still have them all. Pros and Bronze, um, last year I wanted to use it and I decided that it was a little too opaque for what I wanted because I really wanted like a soft speckly look and so I thinned this out last year and this is my thin version. And this was so, so pretty. Really, really liked this. Beautiful. All right, and then on my toes this last month, I wore two manis. I wore OPI's Coca-Cola Red, beautiful, beautiful red. And then I wore Fair Maiden's Daredevil, which is very corally in the bottle. On my nails, my toenails, it was very orange and it's very jelly. So this is a very jelly formula. Had to do three coats to get this opaque and I just did not love this on the nails. I really liked the color. I think this would be really nice, probably for October. Maybe I should put this in my um, Halloween bucket. Um, but I didn't love this on the nails and I ended up wearing it for like three or four weeks because I just never got around to changing it. I finally took this off and now I have naked toenails because <laughs> I haven't had time to put something else on. So really liked the, the color, um, although it's not color accurate in the bottle. So that's kind of, I was expecting it to be coral, but I did not love this on the nail, the toenails anyways. All right, you guys, that was everything that I wore in August. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.